So, when I was three years old, my mom and dad chose drugs over me, and the next day I started living at my Nana's house. I'm Nanette Chandler, and I live in Austin, Texas. I uh, became a single mom when my boys were young because their dad had left me and moved to California. And I knew the importance of needing male role models in their lives. Fast forward to 2010 and Adrian was born, my grandson. Uh, I adopted him and um, his, his mom and dad were struggling with addiction. And God placed it on my heart. You need to prepare yourself because you're going to have to raise this little boy. And so that, that prayer from previously for my boys was placed on my heart again. How do I do this at my age? Our mutual friend Terry Carroll told me, she said, remember TJ, he has KOZ. The day when my dad got incarcerated, my mom signed me in for KOZ. She knew that I needed Christian men leaders to lead me. When he came over here fishing and I saw how excited he was and when he first caught that fish and how you just kind of came, came around him and loved on him, I knew that it was going to be a good program. It gave me such peace. So I learned how to make a tomahawk. I learned how to make a fire with flint and steel. I got my fire starter that first day that I was there. But he came home and he, I said, what, what all did you learn? He said, I learned about um, making a tent and I, we ate deer sausage that they had hunted and killed the deer and then they made it into sausage, Nana. They made it into sausage and he was just glowing. He literally that whole day, he was just talking nonstop. He says, I met a sergeant. There's a gentleman in the military. He gave me this wristband. And they said they're going to be around me and they're going to support me and they're going to be my dad's when daddy isn't here and, and when daddy's, because daddy's in jail, they're going to be there for me. That's what they told me. And I said, that's amazing. I said, isn't that awesome? He says, yes. You don't realize what this ministry does for children whose hearts, there's a hole in their heart from a parent that, that are struggling with their own challenges, addictions, or whatever it may be, but to know that God has placed in the hearts of other men through KOZ an opportunity for them to have healing in that, in that loss. But there's something especially challenging, I think, for children that don't have fathers. His dad is still a part of his life, but He's incarcerated again due to addiction and, and poor choices, and his mom's not really in the picture. But it's it's even though it's hard, it's it's comforting to know that KOZ is there for him. When my dad's not around, I feel like he abandoned me, and. I, I really did not like that. He keeps promising me that he would, he would try again, but he keeps doing it. <clears throat> and I don't know why. There's so many great organizations out there, but when you can reach into your own life of blessings and realize that if you can donate to KOZ and help in any way through a, you know, a ranch or land or food or um, you know gifts or, or, or monetary donations after you pay your tithes, you are actually investing in the lives of young men. 
you should ask your mom or dad to get you in KOC because they encourage you. They teach you about gun safety, they go camping a lot, and they actually care about you. And I would tell that, um, that person to get off their butt and search KOZ on Google and then start. And then the week that they go there, they're gonna have a lot of fun. At KOZ, I feel like it's home. My name is Adrian and I'm KOZ.